Here, we will describe how to maintain HPSCs grown in mTaser1 or mTaser Plus and how to assess morphology of the growing cultures. For cultures grown in mTaser1, perform a daily medium change with fresh mTaser1. For cultures grown in mTaser Plus, medium can be changed daily, every other day, or every third day. When skipping two consecutive days of feeding, add twice the volume of medium. The time between passages, or the culture schedule, should be anywhere from every four to seven days. If passaging occurs more frequently, the HPSC colonies may be quite small, and this could cause issues with reattachment of aggregates in the next passage. If passaging occurs less frequently than every seven days, cultures may become overgrown and differentiated. Morphological assessment. Visually assess the cultures every one to two days to monitor growth. You may find that the appropriate passaging day for the mTaser Plus cultures may be earlier than the mTaser 1 cultures. Start by examining the morphology of the cultures under the microscope. Using a phase contrast microscope, begin at low magnification and scan the well to assess the quality of the PSC morphology. At the time of passage, PSC colonies should be relatively large, cells should be tightly packed, exhibit phase brightness at the center of the colony due to multi-layering, and have a distinct border. It is also normal to see colonies merging at this stage. Moving to higher magnifications, healthy PSC colonies will possess prominent nucleoli, have a high nucleus to cytoplasm ratio, in that the nucleus will practically occupy the entire cell, and the tight cellular packing should be even more evident than what is observed at low magnification. It is normal to see a low percentage, less than 10%, of spontaneous differentiation in healthy HPSC cultures. At low magnification, if there are suspected areas of differentiation, in that there is a loss of border integrity, cellular packing appears more loose and disorganized, if there are visible holes or areas of non-uniformity within a colony, investigate by moving to a higher magnification. At a higher magnification, it should become obvious if the colony contains differentiated cells. These cells will typically appear larger and less tightly packed than healthy cells in a colony. Once you have identified an area of differentiation, using a microscope object marker or a permanent marker, mark the area on the underside of the plate and monitor this until the time of passage. HPSC morphology is a sensitive indicator of cell quality. If you consistently observe higher levels of differentiation during each passage schedule, we recommend you further assess the quality of your culture by examining pluripotency potential, expression levels of markers of undifferentiation, and the genomic stability of the cells. For more technical videos like this one in this series, please visit stemcell.com.